So now we're going to record the melody for section D. So let's go up to the tracks view in the top left. And here we are on our piano bass track. So let's turn off those headphones and we'll go down and select the piano track on the bottom there. And if I turn on the headphones, I'll only hear the click to record along to. If I leave the headphones white, I'll hear these other tracks as I'm recording, okay? So you choose which way you prefer to record. Go up to the small keyboard in the top left. And we've got chord view here, so let's go along to the right and tap on the red chord strip to open our keyboard view. The notes using your melody sheet for section D go like this. F, 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 E, 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 G, G, F, D, C, G. So this section ends with those two longer notes in all the parts. So the C, G, lasting for two beats. So I'll show you the section again. It goes F, 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 E, Okay, so when you're ready to try recording, tap return. And then here comes our count of four. Two, three, four, If you change your mind and you haven't turned the other tracks off and you decide you just want to record with the click, just go to Tracks View and turn on the headphones for this, this track. Turn those headphones on and then you can go back to the keyboard and re-record. Okay. Once you've finished recording, you would want to come in and turn those headphones off because we don't need to do any more recording along to other tracks. The rest of our project is going to be copying and pasting. So we'll do that in the next video. Well done.